Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We took a little bit of a hiatus with our cooking videos and overall content, but we are back and we are cooking here today. My grandma was my pause was in a national YouTube channel. Ali sat mo se vratli i danas kuhamo šta? Danas kuhamo baklavu. Vratili smo se i baklavu ćemo kuhat. Pokazat ću svojim gledalcima kako baklavu pravi bosansku. So she's going to teach you guys how to traditionally make baklava, which is a favorite dessert dish for us Bosnians. So I'm on my Kamala the Kuham. Hi. All right, you guys. So the first step in making baklava is buying walnuts. So we got these walnuts from Costco, and they're just the Kirkland brand. These are our favorite. Um, so we are going to mush these up here and blend them together. We are done blending the walnuts. We have about one kilogram of walnuts in here. We didn't use up the entire bag. Um, so we didn't put anything into this plate. These are just the blended walnuts. So my grandma's going to show us the second step. So our second step is to melt the butter. So let's go ahead and do that right now. The butter has melted. Um, so it's most brand new that she's stuff in my Yes, that. So now we're going to pour the butter over the pan. Yeah. Yes. So yes. we use this circular um, pan. Yes. And if you want to purchase one like this, you can go to your local European markets and get one yourself because these pans help us make the best baklava and pita as well. So now we're going to start putting the, the filo dough on top of the pan here and she's cutting it up with her hands and just layering on top. And so far she has put one and a half of dough dough. and now she's going to put more butter on top. Such a Okay. And now we're going to put the walnuts on top. So we're just layering it up. Because our pan is a little bit smaller, we are going to uh, just cut the filo dough in half instead of putting the filo dough um, on top of it just one sheet at a time. This seems a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought it was just the whole process, but apparently not. Uh -oh. Didn't do that right. Yes, let's double. Yes, So I usually never eat anyone else's baklava because I love my grandma so much. So you want to pat it down a little bit so it's all evenly layered. Um, but I don't eat other people's baklava or buy it at restaurants just because I know that my grandma's baklava is the best baklava I've ever had, but I can be a little bit biased because she is my grandma. But it's delicious, I promise you will see.
jedno i pol pakovanja smo stavili i paklava je gotova. We put one and a half of packs of the filo dough into the small pan and this is how big the filo doughs usually are. So now we're just putting the butter on top. And now we are going to cut. So, ovde pred krajom, we want to start from the very end edge and just kind of make lines throughout it. Make sure to go deep. Mora biti dobar nož da se mora izrezati. And you have to have a good knife. So it could go all the way down and cut through everything. And you do want to be careful because it is watery and buttery, so you don't want to get that all over yourself. So you want them to be in a diamond shape. And it's all cut up, so we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. Maika, can I put the peaches, Maklau? Maklau, peaches na 300, zagi mrijeru na 380. So she preheats the oven to 380 degrees. So she wants to get a little bit of coloring. So she preheats the oven to 380. She puts the baklava in there and then the coloring arises. So it'll just turn a little bit more of a brownish color. It won't look burnt. You do not want it to be burned and then you're going to lower the temperature down to yes to 220 degrees and you're going to let it bake in there for an hour and a half. Znači hoćemo da porumeni yes. nekoliko minuta da yes. bude na 380 yes. i onda smanjimo, smanjimo. Yes. na 220 yes. i čekamo sad i po. We have a pitcher full of water. We're not going to use all of it. We are only going to drown the sugar. So we want it past the point of the sugar and we want to stir that all together. Sad malo radi arome stavimo o limuna da nam je ljepša agda da se ne susne puno. I ovdje samo stavljamo pola limuna ili čita limuna? Pola limuna, pola limuna. So we're adding half a lemon to our mixture here just to give it more of an aroma. Majka, ja jedva čekam da jedem tu paklavu. Koliko se trebamo da čekamo da se utopi agda? I am excited to take a piece of that baklava and I'm just wondering how long do we have to wait until we can eat it? Pa jedno deset minuta dok sam malo upije agda i onda je moramo probat. Super. So only about ten minutes that we have to wait for all the 
liquid to get soaked into the baklava and then we'll be able to have a piece. So I can't wait. All right, you guys, our baklava is all done. Spremnam nam je baklava, tu nam je kafa, isada. Now all you have to do is enjoy the wonderful taste of baklava, which is actually my, one of my favorite Bosnian um, desserts. Mmm, mm, it's really good. Damn. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give us a like. And if you want to see more videos like this one, well, you better hit that subscribe button. See you soon.